Hey, what's going on everybody and welcome back to another Helldiver 2 video. I recently spent a lot of time screwing around with the ballistic shield, and I know there are better options out there, but I wanted to test this one out and see why people weren't running it. In the name of science. Oh god. Oh god. Oh! Yep, nope, that doesn't help you. It did not take me long to learn why, but I also realized that it's not as bad as you might think. Before we get started, go ahead and slap that like button if you guys are enjoying my content, but with that, let's get straight into the video. Starting off, I don't want to do the typical YouTuber thing of telling you how amazing this shield is and how overpowered it is and why you need to run it in your next build because it's actually not that good. Whoa! Okay, well that happened. But that doesn't take away from the enjoyment I had from using it. Hopefully in the near future, Arrowhead will buff the shield and add more compatible weapons so we can run fun builds instead of just sticking to the meta. But for now, I'll talk about what they got right so far. The Ballistic Shield can take on small arms fire, and it also significantly reduces heavier damage like this shot to the face I took from a friend's railgun. We're going straight for the big guns. You want me to shoot you? Yes. What? Now we all know the shield backpack is better overall, and it is a bonus that you don't drop it every time you take a hit from an enemy, but just because it's better doesn't make it more fun. If you pair the ballistic shield up with the only one-handed SMG in the game, you actually get a pretty great combo, as long as you don't get shot from the side of course. I never considered using the SMG before, but after using it for this video, it quickly became one of my favorite weapons, even without the shield. It is a very versatile weapon, but we'll go over that in another video. The shield allows you to use stems or throw grenades without having to leave cover, and pairing that with the impact grenade, my favorite grenade, you can quickly deal with striders or use them to stun berserkers or devastators, and then just pull out the defender to finish them off with ease. At the end of the day, the ballistic shield almost feels like a gimmick, and there is way better shield options out there. Yes, even the shield generator relay despite it not lasting long enough. But there are people out there, including myself, who want to see the Ballistic Shield be more versatile and run it for fun builds and enjoy the game without having to always run meta builds. Do I recommend this if you're trying to collect samples or grind out levels? Of course not. But if you're trying to have some fun with friends and just screw around, this is the stratagem for you. Once the laser pistol gets added to the game, you already know I'm going to come back and test it out with this shield. But overall, I had a ton of fun making this video, and I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you all for watching. If you haven't already, slap that like button and subscribe to see more weapon reviews, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for not killing me, brother. 